the Montreal Canadiens select Logan Meloy with the 31st pick overall in the 2021 NHL Draft. Well, Trudeau criticized Montreal's draft pick. This is the Great White North Report. Last week, the NHL held their annual NHL Draft, which was a little bit delayed because of the pandemic. So they had it in late July. And Montreal, because of their Stanley Cup final run, they got to pick 31st overall instead of picking like 14th, which they would have been. So who'd they pick? They picked this kid named Logan Malloy. Now Logan Malloy was slotted to be a late first round draft pick. And Montreal not only selected a promising young player, but also a young man who recently admitted to making a serious mistake. The Canadians were aware of the situation by no means minimized the severity of Logan's actions. Logan understands the impact of his actions and his recent public statement is a genuine acknowledgement of his poor behavior and the first step to on his personal journey. So they are committed to accompany Logan on his journey by providing him with the tools to mature and the necessary support to guide him in the development. We're also committed to raising awareness among our players about the repercussions of their actions on the lives of others. So what did this guy do to, to raise the ire of all the woke crowd and everything? So first of all, going to Malloy, he said uh, he has to earn back the trust of the people. So he met with media on Saturday. There he is. What happened to him when he was a 17-year-old, he was playing in Sweden because of the lockdown in Ontario. And he couldn't play junior hockey in, in 2020. He got cut short, so he went over to Europe and played in Sweden. And he met a young woman, had an intimate moment, and he took a picture without her consent and sent it to his teammates to impress them. Which is what happens a lot with social with all the availability of social media these days. And he admits that it was totally irresponsible and stupid that he committed about a thing twice for that lack of judgment. He was fined by Swedish law. I know it caused a lot of harm to this person and their family. I regret doing the stupid egotistical act. So he is making a statement. <clears throat> it is now fortunately part of both her life and mine. I apologize to her, but nonetheless, this will follow her for the rest of her life. And for that, I deeply and sincerely regret. I know I said that I did not want to be drafted this year, but as a young man who wants to become a better person, I feel like being accompanied by the Montreal organization will help me greatly. So this is that's what happened to him. He went to Sweden, met a girl, took a picture, shared it. Not a good idea. Pretty dumb idea. If anything, they should have let the father take him out in the back and beat the hell out of him, but what can you do? So that's what the, what the guy did. So he was charged with distributing secu sexual photo without consent, and it's under age too, 17 years old. And he actually got to, got to the point where he actually asked teams not to draft him. So that's taking responsibility by not. And a lot of teams did take him off the board because of, in this day and age, character traits play a, play a large, large role. Ask NFL players how many, how many times even the rumor of anything going on will make their draft stock drop. Randy Gregory is one example. All Collins, Warren Sapp. Things that happened or did not happen in Warren Sapp's case made his draft stock drop and he lost lots of money. Well, this kid, future ahead of him, he's got a chance to make it and he has to be pulled out. How many, how many basketball and football players do that? So now it's a controversial selection, you know, and this is just days after a defenseman posted a statement on Twitter asking teams not to choose him in this year's draft. He would have been taken anyway. Like, he, he's too good of a prospect not to be taken and someone would have taken him in in the later in the second or third round because there was a huge drop in talent from this guy to the next to the next round so someone would have taken a gamble and we wouldn't hear anything about it but because it's in the montreal canadians and it's the first round traffic we have to hear about it so he has shown remorse uh, he paid his fine which i think was 1600 bucks so then we got of course the bleacher report saying montreal canadians selection of logan is callous and ignorant the woke movement getting in full swing. I'm not sure what the mood is like in Montreal, but those of us watching the broadcast watched the horrors Bergeron and chose a player who was fined for a crime of sexual nature and asked teams not to pick him. Okay, I don't think many Montreal fans felt that way. Most people didn't even didn't even know about it. And once you formally submit your papers for the draft, you can't take yourself out. That's why Montreal went through the process of finding that out. Because there's no formal mechanism to withdraw consideration. And it was clear with the league. You're eligible, you're eligible. 11 teams took him off their draft board. Well, last time I looked, there were 32 teams. So that means a third of the teams took him off the draft board, according to Athletic. This is a young kid who made a stupid mistake and he's got to pay for it for the rest of his life. Meanwhile, you have it. a lot of people will forgive 
A lot of NBA and NFL players for stupid things they did. Look no further than Michael Vick. He got a second chance at a career, and his uh, crime was probably even worse. So a lot of the woke movement is looking for cancel Montreal now, probably. Now, Justin Trudeau, he also criticizes Montreal's draft pick. Now, why Trudeau was even getting involved in something like this is beyond me. It's like, as a Prime Minister of Canada, you have more things to worry about than who Montreal select. A poor kid, what, are you going to stop this kid from playing hockey for the rest of his life? My idea, because he's already paid his fine, he's already apologized to the young woman and her family. I would like, first contract he signs, give her something. Another little token. Have her family, her and her family fly out to watch an NHL game anywhere. Anywhere. Not just him. Not necessarily one he's in, but anywhere. Do something like that. So the Can Prime Minister isn't happy that Canadians drafted a player who was fine. Did he not pay his debt to that society? Was it enough? Probably not, but those are the laws. That was what the, he was fined. Now it's going to drag up and reporters are going to find this young woman and make her relive it. Hey, it's fine. 1600 1650 bucks. Now, Malloy did play for the London Knights, which is not far from where I am. And the Ontario Hockey League didn't play this year. That's why he was in Sweden. So Trudeau should just st stick to politics, stay out of this. He's got more worrisome things to think about. Like, come on, when Luth Lithuania backs up the arrest of Michael Spavor and Kovrig, as well as Hong Kong protesters giving them, helping them out, as well as Taiwan, setting up an embassy in Taiwan. That's what Lithuania is doing. Yeah, here we got Trudeau not doing nothing with Spavor and Kovrig. So we need to definitely need a change in leadership in this country. Because if Trudeau is worried about his little progressive ideas, what a hypocrite. The guy who wore blackface when he was a kid. Which is seen as damaging now. Instead of worrying about the little things, he should be worrying about the bigger things. But this kid's made a mistake. He's admitted it. Paid his fine. What else do you want from him? He has to be taken out. And that's it. So any Canadians, let me know what you guys thought out there. And um, leave comments below. Until next time, this has been the Great White North Report. Oh!